Hi everyone, I'm going to do a super quick run through of Topaz Adjust AI. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of the detail of this program because I do have another video on my channel which is a more detailed run through. But I'm going to show you how you can use this to really make your image pop. Um, and to do that, I'm going to show you an example. So there's a link to the Topaz software in the description below, and there's also a discount code uh, that Topaz have kindly provided. So I'm going to start off by opening an image, and to do that, you either drag it into this image section or you click on open. I'm going to open a photo of a red panda, which is from the Melbourne Zoo. Um, there are a whole range of presets that you could apply to this particular photo that are built into Topaz, but I want to do my own edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on controls and I'm now going to go up to auto adjust AI. So because there's a lot of color in this photo, I really want it to have a bit of a HDR vibe. So I'm going to click on HDR style and I'm then going to adjust this. Generally, I wouldn't suggest leave it on one because it's going to not necessarily look realistic. In this case, I'm going to put it on I don't know, about 65% or 0.65. And you can see it's really still making the sky um, a bit more vibrant, but it's not necessarily starting to look unrealistic. So I could do a lot of the brightness changes over here, um, bring down the highlights, adjust the shadows and so on. But I'm pretty happy with how this looks overall. So I'm really not going to do much adjustment. If I wanted, I could look at um, changing the saturation and increasing that or decreasing it. But I think it's alright as it is. The next thing I'm going to look at is contrast. And as I've mentioned in my previous video, micro is one to be careful of. Because if you go too far, it can start to look a bit like noise. But there is some value, I think, in bringing this up a little bit. So I'm going to increase the low as well. And I'm going to focus a bit the medium I'm going to put on about 18% and let's see what happens with high if we go all the way. So obviously that doesn't look realistic so I'm going to change this now so that it's uh, I don't know about 25% give or take. So that's the contrast side. I'm now and contrast is high dynamic so contrast is dynamic range and contrast itself. The next section I'm going to look at is the detail. And detail is really about sharpening. So I'm going to adjust the small detail a little bit. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. But I'm going to be careful with that because I don't want to go too far and start to introduce what looks like noise. So now I'll work on, on medium detail. And you can see that's having a big effect on, on the branches behind and is not necessarily looking that realistic. So I'm going to leave that at about 26% uh, give or take. And you can try and change your boost to see or to change when it'll kick in. Um, but I'm happy with that how it is. And now I'm just going to work on the large detail. Again, you might want to adjust boost to your liking on this photo. Now the last thing I'm going to do is sharpen. And so sharpen is trying to intelligently improve the photo. And it's really working on some of the shadow areas. If I take it all the way, it doesn't look realistic. So I'm going to leave this at about 40%. And there's not a lot of artifacts, but I'm going to put this at about 10%. So I really don't need to do split tone in on this photo, I don't think. So I'm happy to leave that as is. And I don't particularly want to introduce any grain to this photo either. So I'm going to leave that as is. Now if I wanted to create a preset for this, to use this on other photos, just click on preset. And I'm going to save this as red panda. And then just explain what I did. So HDR plus... Contrast plus detail. And I'm going to save this in the general collection. So I'm now going to click on save. And it's telling me that I've already got a preset with that name. I'm just going to override it in this case. Now I'll turn split on. 
and you can see the left hand side is the before whilst the right hand side is the after so you can see it is really making a difference it's really bringing out the vibrance of that blue sky and really doing a fair bit to the contrast on the red panda itself and in my view it's, it's making it a much better photo than what it was before so i hope you found this video useful um, subscribe give me a like leave some comments and um, yeah stay tuned to my channel because there'll be many more photography tutorials and videos coming up shortly thanks for watching I do, I'm just being genuine, yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline, yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah. <laughs>